Welcome back everyone to another episode. We're in the shed today um, in this journey of uh, rebuilding the car Kind of getting it back to a bit of former glory after Cape York kind of destroyed it. So today I'm gonna put a bonnet scoop on now I have reasons so these reasons why I'm putting on bonnet scoop is I have heating issues now it's nothing that um, is very major like the car still runs fine and all that sort of stuff. I noticed once when I was towing a boat trailer up a mount, up a hill that, um, now I don't know whether it was the way I was driving it or the way that um, the car just wasn't, I didn't feel it wasn't getting enough uh, air into the motor to give it a bit of a cooling thing. Now I've got no turbo, no need to cool like that. I don't think the engine's overheating. It was just the engine bay was really, really, really hot. So, there is actual method to my madness. I am actually gonna cut some holes in the bonnet. So for this, today we are going to fit the bonnet scoop today and then tomorrow I'm gonna have a mate come over and we're gonna cut the holes into the bonnet, which is definitely nerve wracking, but I know that it's, it's gonna help it a lot just to give it some better, giving that engine bay a bit more cooling. Um, I guess it's kind of a cheap mod to give your engine a bit of cooling, but in saying that, the heat's gonna go somewhere. Now that's why, another reason why I've um, done, done stage one and two sound deadening, so hopefully that will combat the heat that's coming, because obviously the heat itself will kind of come through the engine bay and down through the firewall, and that's probably where my next problem will be having heat on the floor, but hopefully what I've done is doing the stage one and two sound deadening, that'll be the way that it'll, it won't get hot inside the car. Now, I'm gonna go through, so when you put a bonnet scoop on, obviously from factory, they actually make a frame to where the hole's gonna go, and I'm pretty sure it's legal to cut the bonnet, the um, structural integrity of the bonnet so I'm not gonna cut the bonnet like that. So I've got a massive, massive um, bonnet scoop. So all I'm doing is hopefully gonna cut around the um, around the structural beams inside the bonnet. So that's the plan. So what I've done, I've made myself. A t this is how this is how big the bonnet scoop is. <laughs> made myself a template. I've marked the holes already because I got a bit keen before I pulled out the camera. Um, I'm going to lay a tail down in the engine bay so I can drill through and we're going to drill it today so that, because I don't have much time for someone to help me pull the bonnet off, cut the holes and put the bonnet back on. And then it's going to get painted because as you see, the bonnet itself is worse for where it's peeling like... <laughs> like a peel and bonnet really so that's gonna get fixed up very very soon that's gonna get painted from the guys at work and I'm pretty stoked that they're gonna help me out there with a bit of a cashy um, makes things a lot cheaper so here let me show you the bonnet this is the mailbox it is absolutely massive absolutely massive so let's just throw him on here for the good looks. Again, this is all part of the journey of rebuilding the car. Uh, this is pretty much why, again, been quiet. I've just been doing this stuff to get it back into former, former glory. But also too, what I'm gonna try and do as well is we're gonna revamp this bull bar. Now, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just that the wrapped coat has kind of gone to shit. Um, to be honest, and there's a few nicks and scratches in it, so probably gonna use a different... Wrapped coat's pretty expensive, even in the can stuff, so I don't think it's gonna matter if I use a different brand of bed liner. So that's essentially all it is. It's just a bed liner paint with the hard coarseness and hard wearing paint. So I'm just gonna buy some from like Repco or Super Cheap. Um, and then we're gonna respray all that. But I'm also gonna spray the mirrors 
and the door handles as well to make them black because I hate the shiny. The shiny is too much upkeep to uh, do. So that's what this episode's entail, and we're going to do the bonnet, revamp the revamp the bar work, and do the door handles and. Um, yeah, that's it. So quick tip, it's worth investing if you do have a modified car or you do modify or do things yourself, jump on eBay. I'm not affiliated with anything like that, but you can pick up a trim pulling panel kit for like 15 bucks. These little things, and they come with other little things to help pull those pins off or the little plugs and stuff that are on all your panels and trim panels or even in the interior trim panels it makes life a hell of a lot easier and you don't actually break any of those little pins hot tip so we're gonna drill the first hole wish me luck I don't know how this is gonna go So this is definitely, this is a bolt-on um, bonnet scoop. I was going to go for, I guess, the 79 style bonnet scoop, and I wanted that, but I don't have the budget or the capabilities of molding it in, and it's just a lot of work, and it's kind of a short time span that I have to do these sort of things, so this was the best option. Um, I do think it's pretty similar to the 79 series bonnet anyway, and I think once it's painted, it'll look really, really good. So I'm not going to, I'm not disappointed. I'm um, pretty happy with the choice. I, I was actually looking at this bonnet scoop before the 79 series bonnet scoop, but this one's not too bad. So day two of the bonnet scoop. Well, yesterday I come up across a drama. It seems my template wasn't correct. Now, the way I marked it out was correct. It was just that um, I made everything off a center line, which was is the right thing to do. But the fiberglass bonnet scoop isn't square at all. None of the holes are exactly the same. So I went off hole centers and you know, I made things square. I made a center line vertical and horizontal and kind of did my measurements off that. So they were all, all the holes are out of whack. And I kind of didn't realize that because I just, I guess I just assumed that it would be dead center, but I was completely wrong. Some of the holes were like 50 mil out, which was, it's not a good time. So today it's pissing down raining. Not exactly what I want, but I want to get this sorted because I want to get it prepped for paint so the guys can paint it. So today I'm hopefully going to push in at A2 off-road. I just need someone to give us a hand to take the bonnet off and I'll do the rest of the work. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Bar as well, giving them both a bit of a jazz up, makes the whole car look 
absolutely Mickey Mouse and I love it. Looks good, it's not no more faded bonnet and it just makes me so happy to drive. It's just those little cosmetic things that um, I'm really trying to fix on this car to bring it back to some sort of form of glory. Um, guys, don't forget, like this channel, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it. Guys, I've got a lot more car content coming this year, a lot more trips, more local stuff around Mackay. I'm going to be your local tour guide for Mackay, guys, so make sure you please get behind this channel and support local businesses. Peace! Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Back in the yeah. Tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit.